Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Saturday, as we express our devotion to Our Lady, may we also learn from her so that her devotion to the Word of God, which took root in her heart, be also our strength and our guide in our devotion to God's Word. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You are mighty God, and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. My beloved ones, avoid idolatry. I am speaking as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I am saying. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. Look at Israel according to the flesh. Are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altar? So what am I saying? That meat sacrificed to idols is anything, or that an idol is anything. No, I mean that what they sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons, not to God. And I do not want you to become participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and also the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and of the table of demons. Or are we provoking the Lord to jealous anger? Are we stronger than he is? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you will I offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Please stand. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, 
nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I would like to thank most especially those who have uh, come from different places around Metro Manila and even outside Metro Manila to celebrate here with us the Eucharist. Thank you for doing this pilgrimage here to the home of our mother here at the Manila Cathedral. Our readings today tell us that the Word of God does not only teach us, it also strengthens us. Ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi lamang po nagtuturo sa atin. Ang salita ng Diyos ay nagpapalakas at nagpapatibay sa atin. That is why in our gospel reading today, Jesus uses the image of building a house. When you listen to God's word and act on them, you are like laying a foundation so that your house will be strong. But when you listen to God's word and do not act on them, then you are not laying a good foundation for the house. And when the storm and floods come, it will easily collapse. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, the Word of God strengthens us. Alam niyo po, tuwing mayroong mga dadalaw dito sa Manila Cathedral at magsasabi sa amin, Father, salamat po sa mga online mass ninyo. Kasi noong mga lockdowns, kayo lang ang pinakikinggan namin no dahil siguro walang magawa no walang uh, mapuntahan nasa online mass at sabi nila father yung salita ng Diyos ang nagpapalakas sa amin lalo na noong mga lockdowns meron ho bang ganun din sa inyo dito baka meron ko dito no na mga nakikinig sa online mass noon pang mga pandemic, yung lockdown noong pandemic. Pero mayroon din ho akong gustong tanungin sa inyo. Hanggang ngayon po ba nakikinig pa rin kayo ng salita ng Diyos kahit tapos na ang lockdowns? 
kasi mayroong lumalapit sa akin dito. Father, nung lockdown, araw-araw, ngayon, once a week na lang. No? Baka hindi tayo pinatitibay ng salita ng Diyos. Baka nakalimutan na natin ang salita ng Diyos after the lockdowns. Remember that we will only be strong in God's Word if we become consistent in listening and acting on them. Kaya nga para kang nagtatayo ng bahay, tuloy-tuloy ang pagpapatibay, tuloy-tuloy ang pangangalaga. That is why in our first reading today, from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, St. Paul is reminding the Christians in Corinth, you have already offered around the table of the body and blood of Christ. Do not anymore go back to offering meat and offerings to idols. You have already given up offering the cup of demons. Be consistent in offering the bread and wine to the Lord. Nagsimula na kayong mag-alay sa Panginoon at makinig sa Kanya. Wag na kayong bumalik sa mga dati niyong gawi. Kaya isa itong magandang paalala sa atin, siguro nung mga lockdowns, tayo ay naging seryoso, tayo ay nakinig sa salita ng Diyos, wag na sana tayong bumalik sa mga dating gawi. St. Paul reminds us that when we have learned how to listen to God's Word, let us not anymore go back to our former ways. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, we have heard and we have listened to God's Word. Let the Word of God continue to strengthen us when we learn from them and when we act on them. Nagsimula na po tayong makinig sa salita ng Diyos. Lalo na noong mga lockdowns, araw-araw tayong nakikinig sa salita ng Diyos. Huwag sana nating pabayaan ito. Ipagpatuloy natin, araw-arawin ulit natin. At kapag nakikinig tayo sa salita ng Diyos at ginagawa ito, sinisigurado ng Diyos na tayo ay magiging malakas at matibay sa pananalig sa Kanya. Let our Lady, the Mother of God, the Lover of God's Word, the one who bore the Word of God in her womb and in her heart, teach us how to listen to God's Word and how to act on them. Amen. Please stand. Holding on faithfully to the gospel, which urges us to build our spiritual house on solid rock, let us now make our prayer to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be seen as the steady and secure house built on strong rock foundation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in this confusing world, leaders of nations may deal with their citizens honestly and candidly, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the training and formation of young people may be grounded on the values of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That people suffering from mental and physical anguish may remain steadfast and secure on the rock of faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our dear departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, give us the grace to understand how our lives depend upon the goodness, honesty, and courage of fellow men, so that we may be mindful of their needs and aware of our responsibilities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the name of God.